our cases on that, we do a lot of medical work in the ESI and we give visibility and I am very happy once again to introduce Professor Sarasheban who will be the introduction to the diet and uh, the medical team and also a great pillar of strength to our association and all to Professor Sarasheban. Respected Dr. Anandan, respected Madam Chintra Mahal. Learning in life, 25% from your teachers, 25% from your colleagues, and that 25% Indra Mahalingam and Dr. Anandan has contributed a lot to me and my wife. We have learned a lot from the way I have seen Indra Mahalingam practicing at Jerry Hospital, Anandan practicing at DSA Hospital. I owe a lot to you by a side environment of knowledge. Survival on this our planet is also coming to a geopardy. If you don't have oxygen, there is no stent, there is no bypass, there is no work for two of our previous cardiologists. They disappear from the sea. Very simple. Sorry, sir, I mean no dishonor to the speakers, but that's the fact of life. Thanks to me. Can I just yes, quickly for one sec? Yes. I just want to say that there is a study in Aberdeen which says that where the when pollution gets worse, your incidence of heart disease goes up as well. That's very well. I thank the institutions they work and I thank God. Two words on the person in whom's name the oration will be in order. Dr. Punjal Adam was one of the senior most almond physicians in the terminal medical service. But unfortunately, he had a very terminal illness, fight, fought, and battled against a cancer. But he was very amongst to survey, and his wife has instituted this oration. Atmosphere is a layer of gases that surrounds the material body of sufficient mass. It is held in place by the gravity of this mass. It is weakened for longer duration of its gravity is higher, atmospheric temperature is slow. Stellar atmosphere is the term that is used for the atmosphere of a star. The, all the planets have got atmosphere, Venus and Mars, how would a major carbon dioxide atmosphere with the little nitrogen, oxygen and organ is organ and oxygen is trace. You have got Jupiter and Saturn which has got only the hydrogen as its atmosphere. When you take other planets, Uranus, Neptune, helium is atmosphere. If you take moon and mercury, sodium gas is atmosphere. Europa, oxygen and sulfur, a Enceladus is a very one of the small planets that got a water vapor. Outside our mother planet here, yes, there is still water and gas. And if you count on an oxygen-based life, we are all oxygen-based life, some is also possible outside our planet. Air is the name given to the atmosphere used in breathing and photosynthesis. Yet the atmosphere has got many layers, troposphere with the protoplast above there. Stratosphere, of this oxygen layer is there. Then mesosphere, thermosphere, ionosphere, exosphere and magnetosphere. Now life is possible only in troposphere because the dry air content of the troposphere is oxygen 20% which we need very much for our life with the water component of one person. Dry earth has also got other components, neon, helium, methane, krypton, hydrogen, nitrogen oxide, carbon monoxide, xenon, ozone, nitrogen dioxide, iodine and ammonia. The Kannada side made a very famous statement, Yadam irithimadatil yurinda sarame yuruda. All these gas in their own concentrations are very nice, but they reach their excess concentration, we come into the problem. The carbon cycle photosynthesis, Planets all get cyanobacteria, absorb carbon dioxide, light and water to produce carbohydrate energy. In this photosynthesis, oxygen is a waste product, very good waste product. Because of that, life cannot suck. Gentlemen, the temperature rise in Chennai is purely because the 40% coverage of the green has been reduced to 20%, now it is standing at 15%. If it goes, you know what will happen. Carbo carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas of which there is a controversy at Trump in Clatter. It contributes to that global warming and anthropogenic climatic change and ocean acidification. Carbon dioxide with water absorbs carbonic acid, which is the cause of acid rain, which has 
deadly weakness in many planets. Less carbon dioxide concentration kills green planets. Under times atmospheric concentration kills animals and human beings. Carbon dioxide has got a direct relationship to temperature. If the temperature, see, you can go from solid phase to liquid phase to gaseous phase. You can see from the red, green, blue. Okay. Now the carbon dioxide toxicity has been outside here. So the first human toxicity from the atmosphere comes from carbon dioxide. That's why all of us are very sorry in the air unit, measuring the gas phase exchanges both in the blood and atmosphere and trying to manipulate the various respirators, giving the proper amount of oxygen to the respiratory tissues. With the carbon dioxide subsidy, almost affects all the systems, visual, auditory, respiratory, muscular, heart, skin and central nervous system. Ozone is the next thing that produces very, very good effect by absorbing ultraviolet light. Absorbs ultraviolet light 97 to 99 percent of sun's medium frequent ultraviolet light. It absorbs 200 to 350 nanometer wave. For the ultraviolet light, if allowed without a ozone layer to that, no gas form can be alive. Very important. Ozone oxygen cycle, ultraviolet light striking all oxygen molecules containing two atoms of oxygen splits them into two individual atoms. Atomic oxygen, that split atomic oxygen combined with unbroken oxygen and creates ozone. Brewer Dalton circulation is a situation in which ozone is created over the tropics. The stratospheric circulation transport the ozone pole birds, sorry, the stratospheric circulation transports ozone pole birds and downwards into the lower atmosphere. Therefore, this circulation of protection of ozone because it is producing drop trajectories goes on to the poles. Very unfortunately, with the combustion situation, the ozone layer is being destroyed all over the world. Ozone depletion is done by the free radicals. The free radicals that destroy the ozone are nitric oxide, nitrous oxide, hydroxyl, atomic chlorine, atomic bromine. They catalyze us and decrease ozone. All these radicals are produced by us industrially. Ozone is depleted by also halogens with chlorofluorocarbons. Some of the countries have banned the chlorofluorocarbons, bromofluorocarbons, which are the direct cause of the depletion of the ozone layer. Ozone is a very strong oxidant. That is, ozone at the layer is protected, but ozone comes to our respiratory system is a very strong oxidant, forms ozonates and free radicals. Ozone in the, when ozonates and free radicals are formed, they mediate where the prostaglandins E2, E3, neutrophils, fibrinic skin, interleukins, and cytokines, and causes these damages to the respiratory system. Increased gas rate permeability, impact macrophage function, increased susceptibility to bacterial infection. Thank you. That's why we are dealt with two gases that we are dealing with carbon dioxide and ozone. Then carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas, striking lighter than air. Carbon monoxide production is a partial oxidation of carbon containing compounds. Coal burning, iron smelting, internal combustion engine. We are waiting to bring industries to Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Good, many got employment, many got jobs, many got cars. The effect is carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide protection is gone. Carbon monoxide poisoning produces headache, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, fatigue, confusion, and unusual, unusual visual disturbances, sorry, especially, and seizures. Retinal hemorrhages. But the local patient will be very nice. You won't feel his day. Heavy, red, blue, blue. The persons who are dying of the carbon monoxide poisoning look very nice. They look red. Carbon monoxide binds to myoglobin and mitochondrial cytochrome oxidase. The Boudoir equilibrium is reaction of oxygen with carbon dioxide to give monoxide, carbon monoxide at 800 degrees Celsius. It occurs in the smelting industries where the temperature goes very high. Formula is simple, O2 plus 2C, 2C. Now, this is a picture of a carbon monoxide layer that formed in September 30, 2005 over the three continents of South, Af South America, Africa, and Atlantic Ocean. You can see now the red gases, the various colors that have been shown, the huge carbon monoxide layer that layer atmosphere. Now, 
The entire preparation is halfway through, but it continues to the science now. The next thing that has been environmental pollution that is going to cause the respect is the atmospheric temperature change. The atmospheric temperature change that has been occurred over the past 50 years is much more than that has happened over the past 10,000 years. A human race is known for a million years, but 10,000 years is a recorded history and the change that marks in the last 50 years than what has happened in the last 10,000 years. And also, by the latest chemical process, we have been producing the solid waste, incinerator waste, plastics. Plastics, the industry that has been monopolizing the world, and also by the very handsome use. I remember when I was a child, high school, father took me to go to a every shop, carried a cloth bag, brought it back. After my mother cooks, all that cloth bag, dry it, take it again next day morning. That is gone, that plastic is gone. Incinerator waste, the amount of the chemicals that are produced by the incinerator waste are very minimal. Sorry, I am not preparing so many other constraints. Of course, another 150 times we are going to prepare before I give this oration as well as the NFC is having yet, I call it out in general. Then another way that has been very constantly created by all of us is the internal waste. You think you are very comfortable in this hotel with the air conditioning, paying more than what is actually to be paid for it, and then getting all the internal funds. Friends, this amount of drastic degradation of the environment has not happened in the human race. There is no political will on the part of the There are three aspects of the situation. One is political aspect, second is individual social aspect, third is global aspect. The political aspect is the short soft section. It starts not from the Indian culture and Indian subcontinent, it starts from the Abrahamic culture of the West. Americans. They only think of themselves. They talk about others, think of only themselves. Indians at least think of themselves, talk about themselves also. The Americans are very clear. They are only. They have destroyed the world by their economic power more than what any other country has done. Same way, other industrial European countries, the so called outsourcing, are outsourcing for what? Are they seeing the world now? Deviation has that. We have introduced high technology transmission, talking low matter, so many things, cell phone, <laughs> world of war. This has given a very great room to the technologies. You need not go to the ruler to build the world in the ruler. You can say that Santo, the Senegal, your tower, you can future the world in the ruler. Friends, strong political action by reducing the human nowhere in the global environment. So much as 7 billion organisms of mammals have lived on this planet yet. That it be dinosaurs, that it be lions, that it be tigers, they have never crossed even 10 billion. Now we have crossed 7 billion. Friends, political aspect of it, social income. I walked along the father from the Nishkodi to Sri Lanka holding his hand 1954. The land is no more there. As a student from National High School Picture of Credit, I have come to Yenno to have a look at the beach. That time Yenno, Karnal Park, Frank was being constructed. We have played in the beach 5 kilometers. Today, only 5 feet of land is there. This is the situation throughout the world. If the global warming is not stopped, if environment is not taken care of, there will be no place for either naturalists, cardiologists, neurologists, or the human beings. Thank you for telling the oration. I think this is very good. I can make sure about it. Thank you, Mr. Thank you so much, sir, for the exciting lecture. Very vast topic. You have not only covered, you have covered the, the scientific, the social, the, the political, everything you have covered in one school. Thank you very much. Uh, as a, uh, we normally don't invite questions for the you know, lecture, but uh, being uh, as you are gracious enough to, to answer questions, is there any issue which you want to discuss is open now. Is there no? Uh, just to ask you about the maps that you showed us, the bits where it was read on the continent. Uh, what was that? You took? How did it come How did it come But was there a particular reason why it was over those particular places? 
I mean, what was the kind of industry or something different? Uh, not that. Uh, Sorry, I have not able to answer it. I should have gone to it. It's all given in the sources from which they gather. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to answer it. Uh, such simply, I may go. Destruction and came back. The recent one was the vast global warming that occurred in 2005, the same period, 2005 4, where there were 17,000 deaths across the Eurozone. Eurozone, because of the bombing, the elderly people, 17,000 of them died within a matter of one week, like Albin et cetera. 17,000 were that. Therefore, the prediction is, if this global warming continues, the 50% of the landmass will be disappear in another person in 100 years. And that's we stop it. Everybody is aware of it, but nobody is willing to take an action. That's the difference. Because the Himalayan ice is going. going. Alpine ice is going. The polar icebergs are going. When they all become water, the land surface will depress. Right? So the we will not be alive because we are not water-born lives. We are oxygen-born lives. We will be dead.